Hello and welcome to Microsoft Engineering Training Series number 15. Within this series, we are going to learn about Microsoft Edge deployment with Microsoft Intune. And also we would uh, check out how we can configure Edge specific settings uh, with the help of configuration profiles uh, within the Microsoft Intune. Or you call it as a Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. So we are going to deep dive on these settings and let's begin that. If you're visiting the, for the first time, please do check out the description of this link or this video. You could, you know, find out other series within this training series. And I'm going to cover the entire Microsoft Engine training uh, series. And I'm glad to help you out if you have any questions and concerns. To deploy Microsoft Edge for Windows 10, just navigate to Applications. And then always by platform that's a learning style I would recommend so by choosing the platform as Windows in this case and click on add this would actually opens a new window for a new bleed for application type so we did talk about very extensively in the previous lectures about Microsoft Store and uh, Office 365 specific deployment now it's time for us to deploy Microsoft Edge so we would uh, select Edge uh, for Windows 10 category and uh, soon we are going to jump into these sections and now just Edge select that and this will pre-fill everything and the most important uh, information would be I would say you know two of the things one would be the category so that it's gonna uh, sh fall in what category so definitely it going to be it's going to be a productivity and uh, this is where this channel which talks about the, how frequently it should update uh, your uh, Chrome or uh, Chromium based Edge settings or the Edge browser itself or the build of that browser so in my case if you could see here stable beta and development so in our case if you are the developer you would be not choosing the dev case but in production we always go for stable uh, build so that it's not going to crash it's a bug free mostly and uh, it will also cover the all the vulnerabilities so that's what we are going to choose your stable version and you also have the option for multiple language selection so in my case um, if you are looking for operating system default that means whatever the base OS is there based on that the browser settings gets changed automatically otherwise you could change your um, age specific language settings that's it that's that's our pretty much you know uh, configuration all you have to do is the assignment within this you could you know assign whether it's required or maybe available or an install option so in our case we are making for required uh, which is going to set for a specific user group in our case so let me click on add group and simply select a group name in this case i would like to go for deploy app demo this is the demo group which i'm using all the time for the application deployment and you could uh, choose the group and click on next and create that's it it's going to create the application uh, within Microsoft engine and the trick would be automatically it gets deployed a uh, later point and you could you know get this pie chart for installed or not installed status after some time but you might have a question really in the production how can I manage edge specific settings so that's where uh, it comes to the configuration profiles so let me show you that also devices go to again uh, windows and you have here configuration profiles so let me click on that configuration profiles so if you could remember previously we did demonstrator bitlocker specific settings to create automatically like a bit locker very similar we could create one more profile um, for respect to the end edge specific settings so let's let's go back there and uh, click on windows 10 and this templates i could choose the administrative templates or you could even play with the catalog also so let me enter here a meaningful name of this profile like edge settings and you should be able to find out um, these are the computer specific and user specific group policy settings right so if you could open your group policy management console you could you know find out computer settings and user settings similarly you also have here under administrative templates 
and you could choose the required edge specific, edge specific setting for example on a computer specific edge or if you're uh, more concentrated on a user you could choose the user with the edge specific settings and also you have the edge update all of that setting so uh, I can't you know, go to the each and every setting but let me just you know show you here what you have here for example you want to set a proxy configuration you could do that within the edge uh, specific settings like I could enter here proxy configuration uh, with a pack file URL so I could use that uh, so that it gets automatically configured that so that's how you're gonna use the configuration profiles and let point you are gonna target to the required group so in our case again the similar group what we're gonna use in the past like maybe app deployment group which I'm gonna use it so that in a both um, configurations is gonna apply that's it that's how you're going to create the uh, configuration profile for edge specific settings and later point if you want to change anything you can go to the properties and uh, you could actually setting from configuration settings and you could change the settings the required settings like in my case if I want to you know, just to show you navigation later point also you can edit uh, by going to this configuration settings that's how it's gonna work and I hope this entire lecture is useful for you within this lecture we covered uh, edge deployment and also edge settings deployment with the configuration profiles thank you and I hope you would really liked it and you could share that would be great help uh, if you can, you know, share within the Indian community. Thank you.